What is the best melon pumpkin farm on the legacy versions of Minecraft? Well, today, that's what we're here to find out. Hello everyone, well, my name is Brayden, and today we are going to be looking at a bunch of different melon and pumpkin designs for the Minecraft PS4 version. Now, the reason why we're doing this is because I found plenty of different designs online, and I want to know which one's the fastest. Because, uh, here's the thing. So, on the Java version of the game, you can easily make use of ex observers to make a small melon and pumpkin farm. Works very well and efficient, but as you can see on this version of the game, it just doesn't work. What's supposed to happen is this observer is supposed to detect a change in the stem when it grows, but for whatever reason, on the legacy version of the game, it just doesn't happen. It detects it when it grows, but not when it changes position. As you can see on the back here, it's just not happening. Doesn't matter where you do it, it's just not happening. So we have to use other designs to get this to work. So the first design I have to show you right here is a semi auto designed by me. It's literally just a couple of pistons with some redstone lines. All you gotta do is push the button and they all go into the stream. Um, it's not the best way of doing things. As you can see, it does have some uh, loss. So you have to go in there manually and pick it all up, but it works for what it needs to do. Really simple, easy. I have this in my survival world, but I do want to make a better version because, again, it's only semi-auto. Then over here, we have some more designs by me. These are really bad, and I made these way before I looked up any of these designs that we'll all show you in the future in a bit. But we have this one here. Really weird. They use uh, some T-flips flops, both of them. One of them just destroys them from the top, and the other one just destroys them from the bottom. So neither one of these are ones I'd recommend you use at all because they are way too bulky and we use up so much um, resources, so it's like not worthwhile. But I will say this, it is extremely satisfying to watch. Just look at that go. I don't know why, it's just really fun to do. The reason why I made a bomb one is because this one does take up slightly less space I believe, but uh, you can't put a hopper minecart underneath it, so this one would be better. Definitely wouldn't recommend making survival, maybe creative, just to look at things. Just because it's uh, fancy. Now the next one we have here, made by Jacket Per Gaming. Uh, oh yeah, the links to all of the these designs will be in the description below, all the original videos. Uh, so this is the design they made, it's super simple. It pretty much uses the observer thing over there, but instead of observers you have um, repeaters and um, comparators. Now one thing I did realize is that you can just use another um, um, repeater as well. As you can see, it does work, but obviously the comparator, it'll happen a tick faster, as you might be able to see. Really small sub-design, uh, super easy to make multiple, right there. Uh, so that one I definitely recommend, but we'll have to see how it fits up with all the rest. Now, for this one here, made by John Wrigley, this one's just a nice small compact design if you just need a couple of, of uh, pumpkins or melons, you know? Just a small design, you're not going to be netting a whole bunch, it's very small, but if you're not trying to make a massive design here, then it'll do the job. Now next up we have, um, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name, but this one relies on a, a, a daylight sensor to make everything work. So when it goes to night, everything gets pushed, and there's a mine, hopper minecart down here, I don't have it installed right now, it's in there. And that will do its thing. It'll collect all the pumpkins and melons along these two areas. I'm not sure how well this one will work, but um, definitely it's fully on Mac at least. And the next one we have here was made by RLG. Um, this one is quite bulky and is kind of similar to the one I have over there, except um, yeah, it uses Hopper Minecart and oh yeah, instead of using Daylight Sensor, it uses a uh, bamboo stick as you can see right here. So once it goes all the way up, it re axe and then all the pistons will be pushed here. Now when I made this design I was thinking like you could easily make this so much smaller. These redstone lines could be up here and stuff so I'll definitely have to um, figure out what I'm gonna do with this. I have an idea on, on a on another design that I'm gonna make sometime in the future. Uh, I'm not sure when. I'll definitely make a tutorial on it though. Um, right here we've got another design. Four years Over four years ago Il Mango made this design right here. Um, it's a pretty cool one. It uses a hopper, um, yeah, it uses a hopper system to kind of go through everything. I have it turned off right now, but 
what's supposed to happen is all the atoms will this um, go into this hopper and then it'll make all these a activate. So if I show you right now, put the atom in there, I'll put in like one, two, three, four, five, just quickly. So I'll do that and when it empties, I can see it's doing that. So the more atoms you put in, the longer it will take. So it's another pretty cool design. Um, one thing that I did watch in this video is interesting. Right at the end, right when I was planning on making this video, he mentioned, I watched this video and he mentioned that having soul, uh, soil on near all these, uh, all these uh, things here might actually make things go faster, like make them grow faster. I'm not sure if this has changed or not, so we're going to be, that's why I want to make this one. This is see if, if the whole growing thing actually is affected by the soil around it. I don't know if it's changed or not. We have also string here so that it doesn't grow over here. Um, if you've noticed, a lot of these designs have spots for eight. And that's because in this video, I'm going to be testing out a bunch of these designs and see which one is the best. So we have Omengo's design right here. It's got eight stems. Uh, we've got this design, the one from over uh, there, that really small one, small and compact. I made eight of them here. So uh, you go down here, there is a hopper minecart in each of those spots. All hopper leading into here, in this chest. And then we have this one again. This one has more than eight stems, but I will be getting rid of a bunch before we begin. And then this one here, another eight stems. And we're going to test all these four designs to see which one is the fastest and which one you should build in your survival world. And uh, when I say, when I get rid of all these uh, pumpkins and melons, we will begin. One hour from now, we will see which melon pumpkin, pumpkin farm is able to give the most amount of melon pumpkins in the span of one hour. We will see in about one hour. So, see you then. One hour later. Okay, time's up. It's been one hour, so let's get all of these emptied out. Okay, all four of these have been running, and now let's see how much uh, stuff we got in each. So, starting with this person's, we have 64 melons, 13 pumpkins, and another three. Not bad. This one here by RLG, 46 melons and 14 pumpkins. A lot less than... Yeah, a little more pumpkins, but a lot less melons. This one here, the one that was completely automatic, we got a stack and 36 plus 22 pumpkins. And finally, with uh, Il Mango's design, we got 64, 29, and <clears throat> 20. So, as you can see as well, we did lose some. I wonder how much better this would have been if if these walls were longer maybe because I know this these few got stuck okay so from Il Mango's design we got once again we got 20 pumpkins along with 64 and 29 melons um, from this design here yeah from this design here we got 22 pumpkins along with 64 and 36 melons uh, this design here we got 14 and 46 and from that one over there, we got 13 plus 64 and 3. So, what can we, uh, what do we take away from this? Well, uh, this design here, not as good as you'd think. You see, the problem is um, this bamboo probably takes way too long for it to grow. So, there's tons of pumpkins and melons just sitting here waiting to be harvested. So, that's, that's why that one's probably slower. I believe there is a way... That you could fix that one. Um, this one, El Mango's design, very fast. It was able to get a lot of items and it could have been maybe even more productive if we had built this wall. And if we made this uh, a little bit faster, it also could have affected it, make it even faster. But it is quite a bulky design. It didn't really add a whole lot to how many melons and pumpkins you can have. Uh, so I don't know if that was something that was fixed or not because, yeah, these, I feel like the. the that stuff didn't actually affect how fast these things grew. Or if it did, then having the clock this long might have been a bad idea. Might want to make that one faster and it might make that work a lot better. I'll, I might try some of this again in the future I'll, and I'll tell you how that works out. But what we did find out is 
This one here, the design where they break automatically, made by uh, Jacket Per Gaming, was the fastest. As you can see, it not only did it um, make the most pumpkins, but also made the most melon slices, outbeating uh, Il Mango's, which was second place here with 20 pumpkins and 64 and 29. Oh yeah, and this one over here with the daylight sensor, uh, not a whole lot of pumpkins, good amount of melons, but yeah, once again, still quite behind the other two. So, uh, what should you take away from this? Well, this design here, very good, very effective, and it doesn't take up too much space. Like, it's a bit of a bulkier design considering what you have to do, but it's not too bad, not too expensive either. Um, although I guess I did add hopper minecarts into the this area here and make into this block to make as little of the items um, fall out in other other locations because sometimes they'd like land here or here so putting it in the block kind of helps prevent that from happening and with this one here El Mangos um, by making the hopper clock a little bit shorter it could raise the efficiency of this farm but it is very big and very bulky and like I said these um, these farmland blocks don't seem to be building or making them grow any faster. I'll have to double check and see if it does. I'll do some more testing in the future. Uh, but uh, yeah, so if you were to make any one of these melon pumpkin farms, I would highly recommend making this one here. Um, Jacket Per Gaming's uh, melon pumpkin farm. And I believe this is going to be the one I'm going to make in my survival world. Or for one more thing, if you'd want to be extremely fancy, you could also just make one of these. Flying Machine, made by Mumbo. Tutorial by Wi Fi's. Just have some fun with this. Both of the videos will be linked in the description below if you want to see them. This one's from a Hermitcraft video, and uh, this person made the tutorial after um, they saw his video. I don't actually know who originally created this for sure. Mumbo didn't really cite anyone, so it could have been himself. Uh, but yeah, that's that's all for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you found this in, um, informative, and hopefully... Uh, Check up in the description, I will do some more tests to figure out if these uh, farmlands actually do affect or not. Because after all this is PS4 edition and El Mango made that video four years over four years ago. So who knows, things could have changed. And uh, yeah, so. Also, I am going to be making another video on a different type of uh, melon pumpkin farm. I think it's good to have options. I think uh, watching all these work and seeing which ones are the best has given me some ideas on how I can make a uh, pretty f good and functional uh, farm, kind of like that one, that one, this one all combined. I don't know, I've got some ideas, so uh, subscribe if you want to get notified for when that video releases. Anyways, thank you all very much for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye!